I'm really happy to share with you today um, about some of the breakthroughs that have been happening with the, with the Giving Garden. And um, the joys and blessings have been many. Um, first and foremost, the garden has always been immersed in prayer. In fact, um, I like to say that prayer has sort of been the miracle grow for our garden. And if you look at the uh, slide up there, you'll notice that that's the, this year's blessing of the garden. And a shout out to Pastor Carla who led that. You can see her up there. So, you might think that I'd be up here to tell you about the fantastic harvest that we have um, in the garden, even though, yeah, we did. We had 410 pounds that went to a couple um, of food pantries that were very appreciative. But you know what? That is not the main breakthrough of the garden this year. And I know Leah's going to enjoy this picture. But um, you might also think that I'm going to talk to you about all the critters and varmints we had in the garden this year and how, um, how we overcame them. Um, sure enough, the, the bunny gave us a lot of good laughs and a lot of entertainment for the children. Um, and the insects taught us a lot of uh, patience and perseverance. But that's still not where the major breakthrough was for the garden this year. The breakthroughs for the garden this year rest in the people of the garden. The people who God has worked through to build community and to build relationships and to build connections into our community and beyond our community, within our church and, and beyond our church. As we prepared for the 2018 growing season, uh, there were several God incidences uh, I'd like to share with you. First, if you remember, in the spring of 2017, Linda Middleburg came and spoke with us at the Blessing of the Garden for that year, and she sort of challenged us to look at our garden as not only a giving garden, but a sharing garden. And we sort of took that to heart, started pondering on that, and researching how that could play out with the giving garden. So uh, we went into the 2018 garden season with the theme of uh, growing branches. And our verse that we based that upon was, um, was John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. So with that in mind, um, I gave Joanne Johnson at St. Paul's a call. And I said, we're looking for ways to build relationships and build connections with the people that receive our vegetables. And she suggested a couple ways, one of which was we might be able to work with the children from the after school program or from the summer program at St. Paul because they were really hoping that they could learn about where vegetables come from and uh, how to grow some vegetables. So I called Beth Finoli, and um, here's, here's our God incident. And I'm going to ask Beth to come up for just a minute and share, share that, um, that news and the reaction to that call. There's a couple of uh, breakthroughs I picked on. I was thinking as you uh, talked to me about that, um, first of all, I had been at home in my office thinking about, I just took the after school program back over after nine years. And so um, I'm thinking uh, and doing a lot of research on play and what our children need. And I thought, man, we really need to get out of the nature. That's what I really want to do this year. So I walk into the church. I mean, it was like one or two days after Donna had called Joanne and joined us. Hey, Donna Shep called from St. Andrew, and she wants to know, do you want to take the kids out to the garden? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just what I needed. And um, so anyway, coming out here, it was just a wonderful experience. Uh, one of the things that happened, you know, it was kind of a rainy summer, kind of a weird summer. And we would, we had planned the days out when we would bring the kids. And I, would, I don't know about you, but I would think, oh my gosh, it's been raining all week. What are we going to get into when we get out there? Every day we came out was just beautiful. Even if it rained later yeah. in the day, it was shining yeah. when we were in the garden. Right. Yes. And one other, one other thing I wanted to mention, we came
came out and finished the year. It was great. We started in the spring, worked through the season, came out Wednesday night and put, helped put the garden to bed. And one of the children that I have is very low effect, very um, uh, quiet and not, you know who I'm talking about. And I saw him be more animated last Wednesday than I have ever seen him. And so I'm grateful for that too. So thank you all for inviting us out. Have you ever considered that when we pray, the answer that God gives us and the direction that God guides us to just might be the answer to somebody else's prayer as well? I think that's what we have here. Another God incident um, occurred in relation to the theme for our garden this year, which remember we said, okay, I am the vine, you are the branches. We're going to grow branches. And I put this in here because I wanted to show you this. This is an excerpt from our February 2018 meeting where I have, um, I have that verse and we talked about it. And each year you'll see that we had a theme for our garden. In the year that we doubled our garden, which was 2015, when we doubled the size of it, we called it growing our faith because it took a lot of faith to go forward and do that. So um, last year, this past year was growing branches. So. Fast forward to spring, the first time that we get to meet Pastor Lalandi, and she visits a Ad Council meeting and greets us with a Bible verse that she hands out to us and begins to talk about the meaning of that Bible verse and share, lets us share back how we felt about that Bible verse. And what do you think that Bible verse was? John. John, yeah, it was John 15, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. And it was that point, I, I knew, I think God was giving us a little message that we were on the right path with what we were doing with the garden this year. I love this picture of the garden with the children there. They made the scarecrow. They visited, as Beth said, six times this year. And they have learned everything that we do in the garden. They have been able to participate in tilling the earth and weeding it and planting and uh, harvesting the, the vegetables and finding out how we cook those vegetables. They helped to prepare some of them. Um, they got to uh, make things out of the vegetables, like drying basil to save for later. And then last Wednesday they came and helped us put the garden to bed so they know what it is to winterize the garden. But beyond that, they learned cooperation, they learned teamwork, and um, I think that they were in an atmosphere where they felt loved and supported. When you're in a garden and one of the children turns to you and says, I just love this, you know that you are in exactly the right place at exactly the right time on that day. And I think that's where God was guiding us this summer. 